Crafty Peace, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. I'm here to show you um, one of my bigger projects for Christmas, and it's going to be a snowman hat um, using a, um, a Christmas light and doing some innovative techniques to really, really make this awesome. So the first, I think this is going to be part one of the video, and then the decorating of the hat will be part two. So it'll be a two-part video with this because I don't, you know, I just don't see everybody sitting here for over two hours watching the same video. So anyway, the first things you're going to need to do this project is a coffee can. And I have one here. Um, this is just a, a regular coffee can that I painted in black gesso with a coat of matte Mod Podge. And everything is matted and Mod Podge. This is a uh, dinner plate sized, um, about 11 inch round uh, chipboard disc that I painted. And I also painted the uh, lid as well because not only is this going to be decorative, but it's also going to be uh, useful so that um, you can store candies in there. You can store things in there for uh, the holidays. So you're going to need to paint your... Um, can your lid and your base um, in black gesso. What I like to do is I take my gesso and I mix the matte finish Mod Podge in there and that gives it a sealant. So that is something you could think about. If you don't want to do that and you want to seal this, pro this project, then you would probably have to separately get you some sealant and uh, put it all over the uh, pieces here okay so that's all I have done and the gesso I use which is my most favorite one um, I don't think I will ever go to another um, gesso um, it is the one by Dina Wakely media black gesso I swear one coat maybe two in certain spots covered everything beautifully it's a thick awesome gesso and it's by ranger and it's dina wakely's media black gesso artist quality primer and it is just amazing i have the white one and the black one and i love it and a little goes a long way so okay now there's my hat part and as you can see that's what it's going to look like there's the hat part now i am going to add a night light or a candlestick to this project because I do, I want some illumination to this. Now, you are welcome to put it on like this, the way it is, but I'm going to take it a step further. So, what you're going to need for this, of course, is a Christmas um, a light. This is a single Christmas um, candle. You're going to need a paper towel roll, and you're going to need a piece of chipboard. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the length from the white from the base of the candlestick all the way down, okay? And then you're going to cut a notch out of your paper um, towel holder here so that when you slip it over and glue it down, the electrical mechanism slips right there and it would be easier for you to... Um, install onto your hat. Now, the next thing you'll want to consider is we're going to have to cover this. So to do that, you're going to take a piece of chipboard and you're going to see what the dimensions are of the paper towel holder. Okay, cut that out. And then you're going to want to flip this over onto your round disc, flip this over and then trace and cut out. So you have the perfect dimensions there. So when you put this in here like that, and you slip this like this, and of course all this will be glued, and then you put in your light bulb, and you flip it on, there you go. It looks like you have a larger based candle. Now, we're going to decorate this part. So this video is to decorate some of the elements uh, for the project. So the first thing I am going to do 
is I am going to glue the base to the base of here, okay? So, and I'm just going to use some hot glue. And you're going to put it along the bottom part of the paper towel holder and make sure that you've cut a large enough notch there we go awesome now what else I'm going to do is I'm going to run a bead of glue all the way around the base here most of this candle base will not be seen because I am not Because we're going to really decorate this. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to line this up like so. And we're going to put some hot glue. Don't worry if it runs down the sides because, in fact, we're going to do that. We're going to run it down the sides to make it look like it is real wax. So you're going to set that in there like that. Make sure you have it set in there. Just like so give it a press and if you see that the lip of your round disc is bigger than the opening just go around and snip away and don't worry about it being absolutely perfect because you'll see why in a moment there we go This is a great way to make faux tapered candles if you, you know, awesome. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along the perimeter here. And I'm being very generous. My camera. There we go. I'm being very generous um, with the glue because I want it to look like wax. A lot of people are asking me what type of glue gun I'm using. It is a Sure Bonder Detail Tip glue gun, and you can purchase them online at Hobby Lobby um, or Amazon, but you have to search for Detail Tip. Okay, now I'm going to start bringing down some wax here or faux. Much like the way I created uh, my Halloween candles. Like that, I'm going to do another, make sure I have enough glue sticks out. Okay, we're going to do this side. Okay, we're going to keep going around. And we're going to continue this process. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, I've got to let my glue stick heat up. But that's the general idea. As you can see there, it dries beautifully. And it looks, well, if I didn't grab it like that. <laughs> It'll just add some character. Make sure it's completely dry before you do that. You know, just, you can snip a little bit of that away. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to let this completely dry, uh, all the glue and stuff. And in the meantime, you're going to get out white gesso. And also, you're going to get out some white glitter um, because I'm going to make this a white felicity um, candle. So, but that's what it looks like so far. And let's put the light in there. And see, looks like a candle already. Another thing, you can go ahead and put your light bulb in there, but also if you want, you can um, kind of put some hot glue around the base or the top to make it look like melted wax. And the reason I didn't choose the battery operated version is because I just think the just plugging it up would be a lot easier and all you have to do, you wouldn't have to worry about the base and replacing the batteries and all of this stuff. So, but there you go. That's what it's. That's what it's looking like. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to let that um, dry off. And as you can see, it just looks really yummy and waxy looking. So I'm going to gather my tools and my supplies, and I will be right back.
Okay, ladies, this is how the candle turned out. Stunning. Ooh, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to be um, making more of these for future projects. But uh, when you start doing that, please, 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 please make sure you stuff this area with a cotton ball or a piece of paper towel like I did so that none of the product gets into there or it will cause your light to not work and you would hate to have to undo everything you just got done doing so i'm going to turn on the light and look it looks like a real candle very 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 um shabby cheeky christmasy so now i'm going to soften up some of this glitter as it being really you know I wanted to look a little silvery, so I pulled out some Inca Gold Silver. Um, it's like a rub and buff type deal, and I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger, and I'm just going to buff the um, high areas, just giving it um, Some of those. I feel like my rub and buff is getting. Let me use a brush. Oh, I lost my damn gum thing. Let me. Yeah, I'm gonna use a brush here. Yeah, with rub and buff, I think you have to re evaluate, you know, reactivate it uh, with some water and stuff. Um, but. Um, I'm just going to use a brush here and I'm just what I'm doing is is I'm highlighting uh, the wax that is dripped and if I knock some of the glitter off that's quite all right um, rub and buff can be uh, found online at Amazon um, if anybody has a, another place you can purchase it um, drop the link in the script uh, in the comment section so I know some of my uh, subbies are newbies and they're going to want to order and get some of these products all right that just kind of highlights the um, the ink there. I mean the wax. And yes, I use two different style glitters. I use the base glitter, which is the really fine one, and then I went back over uh, with the larger chunky glitter. Okay, so now I gotta clean this big old mess up. Um, now, what you can do is take your candle, which is what I'm gonna do, and you can tap it really hard um, over a trash can to make sure you get all of that loose glitter off of there. So, that piece there is ready to be adorned to my hat. But, I've got to prep my hat. I think this might be just a one-part video. Um, it's going really well, very fast, very flowing, and I might have just put my foot in my mouth. But, let's hope. Okay, um, here's the disc, and here's the can, and as you know... We're going, I'm making mine um, to hold stuff. I did try to clean the uh, paint off of here, but I think what I'm going to have to do is get some fingernail polish remover and get it off. But this is for my personal use, and if someone would want me to make one for them, um, it wouldn't have that. I would know what my next step would be. I will do custom orders. Um, at most, I can have two of these uh, prepped for Christmas. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of eyeball the center 
of your hat. Kind of step back and look. Remove it accordingly. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure and I would need another dig on glue stick to go in my glue gun wood. Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to take your glue gun and you're just going to go around the edge here like this. Like so. Now, to get rid of some of those glue webs, I'm going to take my heat gun here. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit of your um, your black gesso and you're going to go back over areas that um, you need to touch up, preferably around the base here. So I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit and I'm just going to start. I noticed I missed some areas here. Now you can go back around and finish a little bit more. And if you need to touch up areas uh, with your can, now is a great time to do so. If you can see. I'm just retouching up some areas that need to be touched up. I love this gesso. Oh, I just love it. As you can see, Now what I'm going to do while my brush is still um, wet with black paint, I'm going to dip it into my Mod Podge here and Mod Podge another coating onto the can here. So now you've made your candle. 
and you are you've added the base to the can and again I'm just putting another coat of that Mod Podge on there and this will have to completely dry you can heat gun it dry um, it will dry rather quickly with the heat gun and um, when storing this project I would try to not put it in the attic there are some things that I have a I have an extra closet in my home that I store uh, projects that I don't want the attic to be in the attic because one I am using um, hot glue in this project and any glue for that matter um, can get hot and melt I don't put candles in when I pay expensive <laughs> As much as I pay for my candles, you know. I don't put them in there. I just put them in my closet. Now, some people might not have that luxury. So, if you can at all times possible, um, store it in a container where you know it's not going to get bumped, hit, or anything because we do we put all of our work um, into this and we just want it to be beautiful all right so there we go okay now um, I'm gonna let this dry I'm gonna gather up some uh, Christmas decor and then we'll start assembling this and uh, we'll um, Get to rocking and rolling on it. All right, seen a few. Okay, so everything is dry. This is the lid, as you can see. Ta da! And then it goes on there like that. I got this beautiful plaid and gold Christmas um, ribbon. And the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I am just going to wrap it around the base here. Now, definitely leave enough room so you can make your bow. Well, I'm trying to get it straight because this was a scrap piece I had. I don't know if I'm going to like the red. I like the tradition. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the base here. Like so. And I'm going to work my way around.
Okay. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to glue the top part. And it can be, it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect. Um, but just Uh, glue webs. Do a little bit more right here. And we are done. Okay. Again, don't worry about the glue webs. We can get them off. All right. Now what you can do, which is what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to snip, I decided I'm just going to snip this off, glue that area down right there. Like that. I'm going to glue it down right along that edge there bring this over and make sure I have it and I'm wanting to cut And then glue this to about right there, like so. I'm gonna rub off any extra glue you have. And then I'm just going to simply um, glue that down like that. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and get rid of some of these um, glue webs.
Okay. Alright. Now, the next thing you want to do is, because that is my crease right there, that's where my candle is going to go. So that I can butt it up against there like that. And my candle is going to set just like that. Okay, so let me grab my other items and be right back. Okay, I know the candle is absolutely amazing but I feel it's too tall for my hat. So, as with crafters we are, we improvise. So I got this set of Christmas lights. They're a set of 20, and um, I am going to create a wooded um, cascading area here. And, um, then I'm just going to create something really beautiful. I pulled out my silver chicken wire. Um, I've talked in past videos. I've pulled out some greenery here. I've pulled out some Christmas picks that I have. Just a, a, a collage of different things. And uh, then I'm going to create, create it onto here. But knowing how to do the candle, um, is really awesome so what you're going to see here is me just working with the uh, lights and gluing them as I go because some of you know I want them to um, not poke out as much in areas and stuff so I'm just going to glue only the plastic part down in certain areas as I go and then I'm going to start adding my greenery in here as I go so um, just sit back and watch my madness process here I promise it will turn out you just it just has to be given a little more patience um, on this part here. Um, this part of the video will be speeded up and um, so that because I know this will take me about an hour to get it exactly the way I want it. And that my friends is the process.
done so far as you see I changed my brain I changed my mind and um, that's the way crafters do but here you go um, here is a beautiful red rose I put pieces of the chicken wire in there I put this lovely gold bird um, just filling up the areas um, you know and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it up and you can see how beautiful it is plugged up it just adds some ambiance and just looks gorgeous so the last piece to this project is um the bow here and i made the bow uh using my um bow it all by zutter nifty little tool love it so I'm gonna put that bow glue that bow right there um, I made two I made a double bow and a triple bow on the Zutter bow it all and then I just glued them together and I'm gonna put that bow right there I will cut the tails off um, and then here 
just as I go, straighten it up. Just apply pressure. Just like that. And then Since this is kind of wired ribbon, you can scrunch it up a little bit like that. Um, now, the last couple of things I added, um, I showed in my Hobby Lobby uh, run um, where I had picked up a few of these sprigs here, and I'm going to uh, put a few more um, in there, like so just you know just to add some more decorative elements and I think right here I'm going to put a couple of these together and again these are just different picks that you can break apart and put in there Stick it down in there like that. Make it look like the bird is sitting on one of the um, the things. And uh, uh, let's see. I do want to put a little more greenery right in there, just a touch. And I'm using some old um, pieces of um, of greenery that I've had you know and all you're going to do is grab a couple and put it in there I wish the candle wasn't so tall or I would have totally used it but it just it didn't look right with for me but we've learned how to make a candle and I definitely will be using that candle in another project so um, you know it will be used I promise I promise I promise um, and the last touch I'm gonna get another piece of berry um, the last touch I'm going to do is make it look like um, the snowman hat has um, gotten some snow on it and I'm gonna do that with I got I picked out I've got my white ink and then I've got what's called um, I'll get it out right here in a minute there we go looks good um, I got my white ink and then I got this stuff called well I did have it I pulled it out. Oh, here it is. It is called Flower Soft. This is polar white, and it's actual, um, like, a flocking uh, type product. And I wanted to kind of make it look like there's snow on certain areas. So what I'm going to do is grab my... Uh, oh. I'm gonna grab my glossy accents here. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is just on the tops of like where snow would land. You're just going to glue. And then this 
this is the a by the company flower soft i don't even know if they're still um open anymore i don't know i haven't seen anything about them in quite a long time so what i'm doing here is, is i'm just going and all you're going to do is just pinch it and then Wherever that glue is, it should and I'll show you as you can see like that. I'm gonna see if I can raise this. Hmm. I wanna raise it to where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's just, like, right here on the top edge. Sometimes, oops, there we go. And just spread it out like that. And then... You will have to, um, and just take your finger and just kind of spread it out like that. It's kind of like putting mozzarella cheese on stuff. <laughs> Just doing a little flocking on there, and you want to put some, I'm going to put some on top of the lid here, just like that. Okay. I'm going to put some, probably a little drop or so right there, put one right there, put one, like a little drop, just a little drop, and put some right in there. And see some of it here you can just let fall down inside of the um the greenery it might leave a little mess on your table but um you know it's just up to you i'm gonna put some right there i've had this stuff for years And then on the lip here, of course, I am going to put some, make it look like it's settled. And you would let this dry and then tap off any excess that you have and um a little bit right there um and then you're done you're ready to um just play um this but again i really wish i could have used that candle i think if um like the ones i made for halloween or whatever um I think those would look, you know, just a little bit smaller and stuff. But there you go. And that, my friends, is how you do that.
That is an Alta coffee can made into a snowman hat, all decorated up with a light. And you're able to take the lid off and put stuff in there. As you can see, stay for photos, stay for detailed photos of this. And uh, let me know if you um, like this project. And I hope this inspires you to save your coffee cans to make fabulous uh, Christmas projects for your home and stuff. And... Uh, Again, thank you all. Like, share, and subscribe like you've done always. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, here on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere you can find me. I'm always liking and posting stuff on uh, Instagram and everything. And I'm uber excited for the new year to come because I am doing a awesome, I've just got some awesome things I'm going to be doing. And uh, I want all of y'all to be a part of it. So thank you all. Thank you to the, all the new subscribers. And like always, I'll see you in the next Crafty video. Bye.